Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Battletech back with another video. So uh yes sir, it's been a very eventful week and a very eventful weekend, especially for us on the PC side of things. And uh I'm referring to Nvidia and their announcement of the GTX 1080 um i don't know if they talked about the 1070 at all but this video we're going to be specifically talking about the gtx 1080 and um some 4k speculations okay so um this is going to be a real short video um i might add and um i'm going to leave a lot of these uh i'm going to be sharing a lot of benchmarks and things like that with you guys and i'm going to leave the um description well, i'm gonna leave links in the descriptions on where i got these um so there's no funny business going on and all that things like that but uh yeah so um nvidia has been slowly trickling out information about the gtx uh 1080 and uh just recently um they showed us what the 1080 can do under the vulcan api um but, you know, a lot of people uh, were thrilled and there were some who were not so much thrilled because everyone, including myself, would like to see the performance in 4K. Now, there are some that don't believe that uh, 4K is going to be possible um, on a single card, um, the 1080. But I... I don't think so. I, I, I truly believe that we're going to be able to get uh, 4K 60 frames and possibly better um, on a single GTX 1080. I'll say that again. <laughs> I truly believe we're going to get 4K on a single Pascal card this generation, actually at the end of this month in the form of the 1080. Okay, so how did I arrive at this speculation? All right, well, it was it was kind of simple. All right, so uh, the first chart I'm gonna um, show you guys is the uh, performance of a Titan X, a single Titan X um, running at 4K. Um, as you see, um, the lowest um, frames per second we have is gonna be in Hitman Absolution. Um, and all of these games um, were ran at 4K ultra settings uh, on a single card, Hitman Absolution was probably the most taxing, and still you got a little bit of over 40 FPS. Um, and as you can see from the rest of the games on this list, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag, but for the most part, you can do some pretty good um, gaming at 4K on a single Titan X. But the problem is, a lot of us don't know that because nobody went out and spent a thousand dollars on a single GPU. So if Jinsu Wong, I'm, I'm pretty sure I fucked his name up, but if Nvidia is truthful about this 1080 being at least twice as fast as the uh, Titan X, I think, I mean, just by basic math, if the Titan X can do this we're looking at 80 frames a second on sniper elite uh 40 on the uh hitman absolution i'm pretty damn sure a card that's faster than this is definitely going to pump out much much faster frames per second on a single gpu um moving right along they also said um that it's going to be faster than two 980s in SLI and once again here um, here's a couple tweak town graphs um, that specifically show two 980s in SLI kicking ass at 4k here look at this uh, battlefield 4 um, now granted this is on the uh, medium um, diff um, <laughs> medium difficulty medium presets Two 980s um, in SLI is going to get you 128 frames. 
And then if we bump this up to Ultra, those same two 980s are going to get you 94 frames per second. So again, if the 1080 is faster than two 980s in SLI, chances are we're going to be seeing 120 frames per second at 4K on one car. Yeah, that shit sounds crazy as hell. I know. I know. But I've been screaming this shit for the last six months or so. I mean, we see it every generation, guys. The graphics cards get faster and faster, at least two times faster than the previous generation. So for them to come out with these claims and say they're going to be faster than two 980s, faster than a Titan X, there is no doubt in my mind we're going to be able to get 60 plus at 4k on ultra settings on a lot of games so i don't know let me know what you guys think if if you think it's a load of bullshit you know let me know in the comment section but this is something that i i truly believe is going to happen and please believe at the end of the month i will have one of these cars unboxing doing benchmarks and all of that stuff so i'm going to be able to verify this um if if anything, I'm sure um, this upcoming week, maybe even tonight, we might see some uh, 4K benchmarks get leaked from someone. Because I'm sure someone out here has um, a reference board in their hands. And, you know, NVIDIA is that they're keeping, they're keeping everybody in suspense because they know that 4K benchmarks is what we're looking for. And, you know, they don't want to give us everything at once. So... We just have to be patient and we'll see, um, you know, we'll get the definitive answer one way or another. But uh, again, man, let me know what you guys think. I'll leave uh, the links down below to all these benchmarks um, down in the description. And as always, I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. And remember, less trolling, more gaming. I'm out of here. Peace.